I cut up this drinking box and its straw so that I could have a look at the effects of viscosity on the flow through a small tube. First I filled the box with water. The water flowed out fairly quickly and there's probably some inertial effects as well as frictional effects going on here. Next I tried canola oil. It's a higher viscosity, I think and you'll see that the stream narrows after it comes out of the tube, so probably not so strong an inertial effect. It takes longer, but eventually we start to see some large bubbles coming through. Next I tried some dishwashing liquid. It was more difficult to fill the container without too many bubbles, and I had to wait a really long time and toss out a lot of video before we could see the final results. It was also harder to decide just when we started seeing substantial bubbles in the stream to indicate that it was time to stop the measurement. Then I put some of the dishwashing liquid into my microwave for 30 seconds to get it nice and heated up. And you'll see the steam in this video and that things happen quite a bit faster suggesting that the viscosity was lower when it was hot. When you do some tests like this with your own drinking box, be sure to record all of the dimensions, the inside diameter and length of the straw, the dimensions of the box, and how far the straw is below the top surface of the box, so that you can use all of this information later on when you want to make some calculations.